What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight T stand up. We got. What if dinosaurs extinction didn't happen 65 million years ago? Okay. So now what if it just happened like instead 65 million, 64 million or 30 million? Would that make a difference in like the reproduction and being extinct or whatever? Remember we did a dinosaur video like last year talking about I think it was the what happened as soon as they got extinct. Here's what happens if they did not happen 65 million years ago it was another time. Remember, this is some educational ish. Any administrators walk in, hide your iPhones, your Android, your Lime wires, your pages, your wagers, your cell phones, man, your eye touches. Because if they take it, I'm not responsible, man. Humanity so out. has existed Riddle. on the planet for about. Humanity has existed on the planet for about 300,000 years. We've survived many wars, nuclear bombings, famines, and deadly pandemics. But what if we were on Earth 200 million years ago? Most modern threats to humans didn't yet exist then. However, there was something worse than a hydrogen bomb and incurable diseases. Dinosaurs. What would we do in a world full of huge lizards? Could we have lasted even a day on the planet during the Jurassic period? I Forget can't. everything you learned about dinosaurs and this era from Steven Spielberg movies. Today, we're going to face the truth from a scientific point of view. If modern humans found themselves in the Jurassic period, they wouldn't recognize the Earth. At that time, everything looked different, and even the position of the continents was different. Pangaea had just begun to split in two, changing the climate and allowing the planet's population to grow. And in every sense, it was during the Jurassic period that dinosaurs became the dominant species. It was only their mass extinction that helped mammals get ahead, which eventually led to the appearance of humans. But that's still a long way off. The main goal of humans in the Jurassic period would be to not get eaten. The well-known Tyrannosaurus Rex was able to accelerate up to 72 kilometers per hour. That's what does 45 that mean? miles per hour. And this had a weight miles of 14 hour. tons. But there were lighter and faster dinosaurs that hunted in groups. For them, a human would be easy prey. Speed, binocular vision, excellent sense of smell, night vision, and killer instincts. American paleontologist <laughs> and arms, evolutionary bro. biologist <laughs> Stefan Broussat from the University of Edinburgh believes that it would have taken a lot of effort to avoid death. However, predatory dinosaurs would not have been the only problem for humans because there were also herbivores. These were no less dangerous than predators and were quite capable of hitting you with a spiked tail or impaling you with a horn. Simply frightening. Moreover, you might not have noticed and been trampled to death. It's believed that Diplodocus was the size of four elephants. Next to this, a person would feel like a cat next to its owner. Hunting such massive animals would be incredibly difficult. To this day, scientists don't know how strong the skin of dinosaurs was. This means that it's not known whether it could have been pierced with a knife, a spear, or even a bullet. Whoa. Even if you managed to kill a dinosaur, its smell would attract predators and scavengers. If you stuck around for a long time with a huge piece of raw meat, you'd definitely have been smelled and eaten. This isn't the end of the problem. During the Jurassic period, the oxygen content in the atmosphere was quite low, about 15%. Today, this figure is 21%. Most likely, modern humans, once the age of the dinosaurs, would have experienced hypoxia. What's this, that? in turn, can develop into altitude sickness, oh. which leads to constant shortness of breath, spatial disorientation, coma, that? and sometimes death. But let's say we could have handled it. What about water sources? The human body isn't used to the bacteria and microorganisms of the Jurassic. Therefore, a sip of water from any reservoir could be deadly. Today, 
Drinking water undergoes multi-stage treatment, but the risk is still not zero. What can we say about the Jurassic period? Catching a parasite here, or even catching an ancestor of malaria from an ancient midge would have been more than realistic. It's likely that the dinosaurs themselves hosted giant flat and roundworms and millions of other parasites that permeated the organisms of ancient reptiles through and through. Don't forget about the various insects or snakes that lurked everywhere. One touch or bite from something wrong could take your life. Yep. For example, the web of the giant spider, Nephilia jurassica. There was Scientists a Jurassic it spider? Was poisonous, but it's known for sure that it wove a one and a half meter or five foot network of strong golden silk. Perhaps even small dinosaurs got caught in it. Let's now look at what, what? humans would have eaten I thought that was fake years ago. One of the best options would have been eggs. Huge lizard eggs, rich in protein, would have helped satisfy hunger, but you're not the only one who thinks so. Many other dinosaurs like to ravage clutches for a snack. You would have had to act quickly to stay ahead of the competition and not get hurt by the mother. If you weren't able to steal eggs, you would have been able to go fishing. During the Jurassic period, many parts of the current land were flooded. There, in the shallows, in the warm water, many organisms lived, and a special plankton colored the water red. If the wow. blood color didn't scare you, you would have been able to catch a snail, but this would also have been a life-threatening affair. The seas and oceans of that era were home to dangerous predators. For example, such as the Liopleurodon. Its teeth were about seven centimeters long or 2.7 inches. If you didn't get away in time, you could have become the prey yourself. And even wow. a vegan diet in the Jurassic period would be a test for a person. At that time, many different plants grew on the earth, but without hints of flowers, berries, or fruit. There was something like the fruit of a modern ginkgo, but because of the disgusting smell of excrement, you would have hardly been able to eat it. Fungi and seaweed were common there, but none of the species were similar to what humans eat today. This doesn't mean that they were all poisonous. However, you would have only had one chance to find out. At one best, chance to find an out by eating The whole experience mushroom. would have ended in food poisoning, at worst, a painful death. If one human was alive in the Jurassic period, this person would have been doomed to death. True. Most likely, it was me though, but I survived. A couple of days. At the same time, if there were really a lot of people, they would have been able to adapt. However, the use of metal would have to be forgotten, even if you brought it with you from modern times. In conditions of high humidity, it would quickly become covered with rust. To get anything on the spot would be simply impossible. It's too hard to work in conditions of a lack of oxygen. But even if they adapted, humans wouldn't be able to live with the dinosaurs in peace. So says biologist and paleontologist Victoria Arbor from the Royal Ontario Museum. Based on our current relationship with large predators such as lions, wolves, and bears, it's clear that humans and predators rarely get along with each other. For example, to protect our homes from wolves, people almost destroyed this animal's entire population in North America. It's unclear whether this would have worked with a predator that's 70 times larger than a wolf. One hope might have been finding a corner of the earth where the dinosaurs and other monsters of the past weren't able to reach us. Despite all the danger and unpredictability of the behavior of ancient animals, scientists have long been trying to resurrect them. Researchers led by geneticist George Church at Harvard University are trying to insert mammoth genes extracted from ancient DNA into the modern genome of the Asian elephant. 
if they succeed, these huge woolly creatures may reappear on Earth. In Bro, the I knew things really be man made. So they're sitting up here literally admitting that they're trying to make a woolly mammoth, a ferocious elephant beast, bro. Decades. Are you serious? Scientists are also. So imagine if they just be like, we're going to make a T Rex, bro. But there's a problem here. These huge lizards have been extinct for too long, and it takes a lot of work to get their DNA. However, in a sense, dinosaurs still live side by side with us. Crocodiles, birds, and turtles are all descendants of ancient lizards that managed to evolve and survive to the present day. So, you can touch the story at any time. Just reach out your hand. All the information mean. I've used to create this video is current at the time of its release. Perhaps, after a while, scientists will find other facts that will completely change our understanding of the Jurassic period. But this is the beauty of science, constantly searching for the truth and learning something new about the world around us. If you like this 